friends. Look who ha I have over here, Maui. Say hi, Maui. Hello. Ba Maui is our bunny. He lives with us. He's very happy because now he can go outside and he can eat outside and he can run and jump. Our Maui is a very old guy. He's our senior citizen and we love him to death. So hi. Do you hear that sound? What is that? Makes him, it's making him look very happy. So hello friends. Oh, he's hiding. I think he might be a little nervous. Because he never have seen Owen, Isabel, Anthony, Ella, Wesley, Aubrey, Hurt, Gia, Alex, Jack and Jacob, Aubrey Moore, Lucas and Squire. Hello, friends. I'll come over and visit sometime again, like I did last year. Remember, we had a, a good time together. I'll come and visit sometimes. But right now, it's going to be reading time, so we have to put our listening ears on. Click, 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 click. I have a book that my friend Anthony said he wanted me to read. And it's Curious George. So that's why Maui came up here to say hello. All right, so bye-bye to, to Bunny Maui. Bye-bye, guys. I'll see you another time. Here we go. Thank you, Isabella. Thank you, Maui. Curious George and the bunny. See what happened with Curious George today. And by the way, Maui is listening to the story today with my daughter. They're sitting down right on the floor. This is Curious George. George is a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George found a little house inside was a mother bunny and all her baby bunnies. Aren't they so cute? They're different color than Maui though. Maui's a little bit darker. George was curious. He wondered what it would feel to like to hold a little bunny. Let's see what's next. It was fun to hold a baby bunny. Look at him, he looks so happy. They're so cuddly. George wanted to play hide and seek. He put the bunny down. I wonder if the bunny ran away. What do you think? But the bunny ran off like a shot. Oh no. Look, I think George was uh, playing hide and seek, but the bunny ran away. Oh my goodness. Where did the bunny go? George looked everywhere, but the bunny was gone. Oh no. All the fun was gone too. I don't think that uh, George is looking like he's having any fun right now. Look at that. He looks a little scared. You think he's afraid? Curious was sad. Curious George was sad. Now he could not put the bunny back in the house with Mother Bunny. <gasps> look, at, look at that. He looks a little worried, doesn't he? George had an idea. Mother Bunny could help him. He ran to the bunny house and put a string on her. She knew just what to do. There they go. They're looking for the baby bunny. Let's see what's next. George followed Mother Bunny. Soon she saw something. George saw it too. I wonder what it was. What do you think? I don't know. Let's find out. Something is hiding. <gasps> The baby bunny was hiding in a hole. George helped the bunny out. Come on, little bunny, let's go home with your mommy. All right, let's see what's next. Then they all ran back to the bunny house. George took the string off of Mother Bunny and the two bunnies hopped inside. Do you see the baby bunny following Mama Bunny? I think George was very helpful too. George was glad to see Mother Bunny and all her babies settle safely down to sleep. Good night, bunnies. Good night. Dust, the end. Thank you for watching. I'll read to you another time. Thank you.
Bye, Anthony. This is especially for you.